Hi, this is George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California. And this video series is a review for my Math 21 Intro to Statistics class for their midterm. We are using the Sullivan Woodbury Interactive Statistics textbook, and we are covering chapters one through seven on this midterm review. In this video, we'll take a look at a few problems involving permutations and or combinations. In a drug trial, there are eight participants. In how many different ways can three of the participants be selected to receive a placebo? First, notice that we are selecting R out of N. In this example, that is three out of eight patients. Next, there is no repetition. If we're going to select three participants, we cannot select the same person twice. That tells us that we're looking at either combinations or permutations. And the way that we determine that is by deciding whether the order of selection matters. The first person selected will receive a placebo. The second person selected will receive the placebo as well. There's no difference. So the order of selection does not matter. That tells us we're working with combinations and here that's going to be 8C3. Now, whether you work that out using the formula, your calculator, or StatCrunch, 8C3 computes to be 56. A sprint race has 12 runners in it. In how many different ways can the runners finish first, second, third, and fourth? Well, we're looking at four out of 12 with no re repetition because a runner can't finish first and second in the same race. Does the order of selection matter? Well, do you think finishing first is different than finishing second? That is a yes. So that tells us we're gonna be looking for permutations. This time, 12 P4, and that computes to be 495. A pizza restaurant has five different crusts available and 11 pizza toppings. Assuming that a customer cannot select the same topping more than once, in how many different ways can a customer order a four-topping pizza? There are two levels to this decision here. We're choosing one crust and then four toppings. In how many ways can we choose the crust? There are five crusts available, so that's five. Then for the pizza toppings, we're picking four out of 11 without repetition, right? Because they could not choose the same topping more than once. Does the order of selection matter? It doesn't. Each item selected will be on the pizza. So that's combinations, 11C4. 11C4 is equal to 330. And multiplying that by five, we get 1,650 different ways that a customer can order a four topping pizza. I hope you find this video helpful. If you need to reach out to me, you can reach me through the contact page on my website, which is georgewoodbury.com. You can also get a copy of the midterm review off of my homepage. Click on the link that says materials for my statistics students. You can also reach out to me on Twitter at George Woodbury.